Hey, welcome folks to Ragsdale as the Ragsdale Tigers take on the Southern Guilford Storm. I tell you what, we've been discussing a rain delay over here. It's been about an hour and a half, but guess what? We're going to have a great game anyway. It's about to start in a few minutes, so stay tuned for all the highlights right here on Friday Night Rivalries. <music> Welcome back to Friday Night Rivalries. I'm your host, Walter Johnson. And, Alan, thank you for that great job over there at Carver and Dudley. Dudley winning by, four, by 49 to 0. But we're here at Ragsdale as they take on the Southern Storm. I tell you what, Coach Johnny Boykin in his first year has a lot to look forward to. His son, Devin Boykin, who was a wide receiver last year, has now turned the quarterback to guide the reins for Ragsdale. Also, number five, Malachi Manus, who gained 580 yards last year along with five touchdowns, is the guy toting the mail. The wide receiver, Trey Good, number three. He led the team last year or is a returning leader with 250 yards uh, receiving, and he had three touchdowns last year. And then linebacker Devontae Lambert, this guy is all over the place, so expect to see a lot from him today. Keys to victory for Ragsdale. Well, first of all, coach wants to control the tempo, and he's going to do that by running Manus. Manus is the guy that's going to get the bulk of the carries, and he's going to work the ball. I tell you what, also, they want to limit their turnovers, make sure with a new quarterback they don't give that ball up. And then lastly, they want to keep Southern in second and third and long situations. And, folks, if they can do that, that's the key for Ragsdale. Now, for Southern, they come in. They're not an uh, empty wagon either. They have Coach Jason Bradley, who's in his first year, and he has quarterback Matthew Hedrick who, by the way, is a wide receiver turned quarterback. He was the leading receiver for, for uh, Southern last year. Now he's the trigger man. Running back Hakeem Knight comes, off, comes back after an 800-yard season and 10 touchdowns. He looks to be the guy that's going to tote the mail and tote the load for uh, Southern. And, but lastly, their linebacker and their cornerback, those two guys get it done. They had 38 and 36 tackles respectively last year. They are Robbie Wright and they are Patrick Clegg. Their keys to victory, they got to keep or get night off running early. If this guy can get it going early, they have a chance. They also have to keep the read simple for him. He's a first-year quarterback. If they can keep one-third of the field that he has to read, they're going to be okay. And they need to dominate the line of scrimmage because if not, Ragsdale's size will take over. If they can do that, they come out winning. Now, my prediction, Ragsdale is going to get out of that funk from last year and win this ball game, 28-6. to Stay tuned for all the highlights right here on Friday Night Rivalries. Southern's captains are Matthew Hedrick, Javon Mobley, Hakeem Knight, and Patrick Clay. Can pass complete to number three, Trey Good. Boykin on the carry.
conversion, no good. And with 9.15 left in the first quarter, Ragsdale 6, Southern 0. Number 10, Montave Montavius Robinson. Number 21, Patrick Clegg on the carry. Number 34, Hakeem Knight on the carry. by number 75, Deontay Manning for a loss. That brings no Boykin pass complete to number 17, Jonah Handy. Boykin carries for the first down, out of bounds at the... Your score with 2.23 left in the first quarter, Ragsdale 13, Southern 0. Patrick Clegg on the carry, ran out of bounds by number Thirty-four, Hakeem Knight on the carry, tackled by number four, Mayante. First pass incomplete, intended for number four, Donnie Wilson. Number thirty-four, Willie Brown on the coverage. Yeah. 
is incomplete. Boykin tackled at the Ragsdale 30-yard line. Boykin sacked. Number 20, Bryson Spruill on the carry. Flag on the play. Cameron Burroughs on the carry, pushed out of bounds by number 20. complete to number 21. Time. It's Friday Night Rivalries, and right now we have got a good one going. Ragsdale is winning 13 to nothing behind Mr. Manis. He has 56 yards rushing and two touchdowns on five carries. That's right, folks, just five touches, 56 yards, including, we're going to see it right now, this 44-yard dazzling run for a touchdown that started off the scoring for him. At halftime, Ragsdale, 13, Southern, 0. Stay tuned for all the second-half highlights right here on Friday Night Rivalries. Number 21, Patrick Clegg on the carry. Number 34, Hakeem. Number, number 21, Patrick Clegg on the carry, tackled at the four yard line. Number 21, Patrick Clegg on the carry for a Southern touchdown. Extra point is blocked. 
With 8.52 left in the third quarter, it's Ragsdale 13, Southern 6. Number 13, Trey Pratt on the return. Ragsdale 20, Southern 6. Maya McMillan on the carry, tackled in the backfield by number 55, Devontae Lambert. Crisp on the quarterback carry. Number 24, Jemiah McMillan on the carry. Number 21, Patrick Flagg, brought down by number 55, Devontae Lambert, for a big loss. Crisp sacked by number 4, Nayante Woods. Boykin on the quarterback keeper. Boykin pass caught by number 13, Trey Pratt. Number 14, Cameron Bowes on the return. There is a flag on the play. And number 75, Deontay Manning. Your score at the end of three, Ragsdale 20, Southern 6. Chris pass complete to number 14, Cameron Bowes.
Quest. Sacked by number four, Nyante Woods, for a big loss. on the play. There is a flag on the play. Block in the back, Ragsdale. Number 20, Bryson Spruill on the carry, tackled by number 11, Matthew Hedrick. Bryson Spruill on the carry, tackled by... Boykin on the quarterback carry, brought down at the 15-yard line for another Tiger. First. Trey Pratt on the carry. Friday night rivalries. This is the post game. We're with the victorious Ragsdale Tigers. They were victorious tonight over Southern 20 to 6. Coach Johnny Borkin, your first game as a head coach, and you come out with the W. How does it feel? Well, we've been waiting for this a long time, so it feels good to have this under our belt. Now, you all had a long rain delay tonight. What did you do to keep you guys motivated and pumped up? Well, we do what we always do. We found the weight room, went in there, pumped a little bit, um, changed their uniforms. And we had on white pants, so we definitely didn't want to wear those, so we changed our uniform. Kids were a little excited to get this done. They were antsy inside, so we're glad to come out with this victory. You got a late start uh, with, with uh, the other coach leaving kind of late in the summer. Yeah. How were you able to put all your stuff in so quickly and be so efficient with it? Well, we've done this before. You know, I've I'm, I'm been doing this 24 years, so um, it's just a matter of getting the right people in place. And we, we were fortunate to get Bernard Bacon, who's our offensive coordinator, who's coming from Northern Durham and, you know, Hillside. He's got that background, and he knows how to build champions, so he got right in and went to work, and he's been driving back and forth. And um, so we just, this chemistry, and I've known him a long time. We coached together back in the day, and um, just putting it all together. Well, Coach, great victory tonight. Thank you. Good luck to you going forward. Thank you. Devin, you came, play, uh, came to us playing wide receiver last year. You had almost 300 yards receiving. This year, you would become the man, the trigger man, the quarterback. How did you keep yourself calm and collected and allow yourself to execute the way that you did? Oh, well, obviously it's a big change going from wide receiver to quarterback, but I can't give enough to my teammates. I got a great offensive line, a great running back, and wonderful wide receivers to stand by my side as I take this team on. Solid stat line, a little bit more than 50 yards rushing, uh, about 55 yards passing. You had a TD rushing. Talk to us about how comfortable you felt running offense. Oh, uh, I'm very comfortable. I've been around these guys for – Two years now, uh, I'm very blessed for them to take me in as a sophomore running quarterback. So it's been great. 
Well, congratulations on your first victory. Thank you. We're here with Malachi Manners. Malachi, 80 yards rushing on eight carries, including a 44-yard thriller touchdown and two touchdowns for the night. How did you feel coming out here with the rain delay and everything? How did you stay motivated? Uh, I stayed motivated, talking to my teammates in the locker room, went in the weight room and lifted a little bit and got us pumped up, got a speech from my assistant principal. Well, it was a guy that played in Greensboro last year at A&T. His name was Tariq Cohen. And that 44-yard run you broke off kind of looked Tariq Cohen-esque. What did you see in that run? Because you, you made, it, it was actually about a 65-yard run that ended up being 44 yards for a touchdown. But what did you see to let you know you could break it? Everybody coming at an angle, so just cutting back and my O-line, just coming up the field and keeping blocking for me. Well, folks, this is our spare time entertainment player of the game, Mr. Malachi Manis. You can have a chance to vote for him later on in the season for player of the year by going to TENWebTV.com. Malachi, congratulations on being the Friday Night Rivalries player of the game. Folks, we'll be right back with the play of the game. Stay tuned. Zero. 